Hi guys, so today I have a short uh, companion video for you. Uh, it's the companion video to my intro to the perspective tools here in, in Clip Studio Paint. Today I'm just going to focus on showing you how to pull up the grids because they are a very useful tool and I will explain as we get going. So you're going to want to come up here and choose the object selection tool. Um, I am in Clip Studio uh, EX, so your tools, if you just have Pro or whatever, might be a little bit different, but I think probably um, they're pretty close. They should look the same. Maybe they might be called something different. Anyway, so we're going to take the object selection tool and we're going to go ahead and click on our um, perspective rulers here. So with all the perspective rulers activated, you will notice over here in the tool property area that we have a little section that says grid, and it's pretty amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up some grids here. Oop, let me do the other one first. So here we have uh, two grids. They each correspond to um, the three axes, X, Y, and Z. Um, basically what the grid does, let's zoom in here, it gives you a better idea um, how things are going to scale in uh, space. So as you can see this side of this building has a lot larger um, grid pattern than the one back here. So let's say I want to draw some windows and I want them to be about like this on the building. And uh, if we come down here, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and extend my perspective lines. Um, they're gonna get quite a bit smaller as we go along. And I'm gonna go ahead and extend these here too. Oops, that maybe is a little bit too big. There, there we go. And then like on these down here, we're just going to basically be putting in hash lines to indicate uh, the windows. So it really gives you, you know, a better sense of the space in the perspective. It prevents you from doing things like, um, whoops, that one didn't quite hit the it prevents you from making a bunch of uniform windows like this and then continuing on down here with slightly smaller windows but still it's very much out of perspective that second set of windows so yeah it basically gives you a sense of scale I guess you could say I will go ahead and let's let's get the object selection tool back here I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, yeah, we'll go ahead and remove that. And we'll turn on the green one and turn off the red one. You can turn them on and off as you please, just by having your perspective rulers activated and just, you know, woohoo, like that. Okay, let's clean this up. <laughs> Went a little crazy there. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing to, for this side. And, whoop, come on, behave yourself. And then since we're on a different perspective plane, these are looking a little bit larger. And then we'll go ahead down here. And we just have little slivers of windows, basically. Something along those lines. All right, so I think that about covers pulling up the grids. So let's call it a day and we will do more small packet information videos like this in the future regarding the Clip Studio paint rulers. So if you want to keep an eye on my uh, YouTube channel, you can subscribe. Feel free to comment if you have anything specific you want me to check out in Clip Studio Paint and tutorialize for you. And then don't forget you can find me on all social media. I am at Tsukiyonu on Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram. 
Oh, and then don't forget about my webcomic, findsometimesrain.gankygirl.com. Thank you for tuning in, and I will try to get another tutorial together for you here in the future. Bye-bye!